for many of your applications, it's probably not important for the end user to know that it was created in LabVIEW, and in fact it might be beneficial for them to not either not know it was made in LabVIEW, or just remove a little complexity by hiding the LabVIEW toolbar. So you have several options for doing this. Um, from your VI, if you go to File, VI Properties, and then go to the Window Appearance category. See here we have several defaults. So the top level application window is going to give you a runtime menu, uh, but no LabVIEW toolbar. Dialog is going to make uh, a window suitable for a pop-up, so it's not going to have any runtime menu, LabVIEW toolbar, and it's also going to be what's called modal, which keeps it on top of other windows. Uh, default is kind of the standard VI that you're probably quite used to, or custom allows you to customize and, and say exactly what you want. Uh, so I don't want to have a menu bar, maybe I don't want scroll bars either, I don't want the user um, moving around. Uh, show, I don't want to sh show the toolbar we're running. Uh, all of these options are fairly self-explanatory. I don't want the user to resize the, the window either, perhaps. I hit OK, OK there. And then when it, I hit the Run button, you'll see I don't get a toolbar. Uh, I don't have the scroll bars, like I said. And I'm also my, I'm unable to resize the window, just like I asked for. So um, you need to be careful when you're using some of these settings, because again, you could leave yourself in a situation where you can't scroll to a certain control, or perhaps if you made a window modal and uh, had an infinite loop, you could get yourself into a bit of a, a mess where you have to end up killing LabVIEW. So, um, word of warning there, but other than that, this is a, a quick and easy way to further customize your app and also reduce some on-screen clutter for your eventual user.